there's quite a few of these old buildings in Naom. Um, we think these are all old Yugoslavian state-owned buildings and when the country broke up apparently they couldn't decide on uh, who got the share of what because it was one country right breaking up into six so some of these buildings that are hidden around are yeah just left derelict quite sad really And obviously they don't want people to go in either because uh, barbed wire to stop you getting in there. But I wonder what it was. Tamara says there were a lot of um, holiday complexes for workers here. I wonder if that could have been one of them. In fact, I wonder if our hotel, the Hotel Stella, was one of them back in the day. Well, there we are. Doesn't that look like an old hotel of some sort somebody's living in it but I don't think it's a <laughs> going concern maybe though maybe I've got that wrong as bald and bankrupt would say although he talks about the Soviet Union this is an old League of Communists of Yugoslavia place City beach, children back at school, so not as packed as it was. But that's a modern hotel, right? But look at these apartments. I might have this catastrophically and monumentally wrong, but I think these have been here for decades. Back in the late 70s and 80s, what do you think? Workers coming from all over the former Yugoslavia to enjoy a break on the coast in the sunshine let me know if you've got more information on on the history of these buildings here's another example as you can see it's old style definitely seen better days but imagine this being done up It'd be quite cool wouldn't it
Fascinating living history. Would be good though if uh, these buildings were restored. And I know the Adriatic breeze is going across the microphone, but I think you get my drift.